You know, the early 1970s was a battleground for horror anthologies. Uh, basically, Night Gallery uh, started fast and burnt out. Uh, Six Sense followed it and various British and uh, European and international English and French series. But one of them that should have got more of a recognition but didn't was something called Ghost Story. Now, this was an American uh, television horror anthology series that aired for one season on NBC from 72 to 73. Executive produced by the great William Castle, Ghost Story features supernatural entities such as ghosts, vampires, and witches. The show's format and tone drew comparisons to Night Gallery and ABC's The Sixth Sense. By mid-season, the ratings were not the best and led to a title change called Circle of Fear and a change in the format. Now, the series was hosted by Sebastian Cabot as Winston Essex, the owner of a mysterious hotel called Mansfield House. Cabot's introductions were filmed at the Hotel de Corando near San Diego, and Ghost Story dealt exclusively with ghosts, vampires, witches, and other supernatural elements. Starting with the 14th episode, when the show was called uh, Circle of Fear, Cabot's introduction and ending monologues were no longer featured. Now, composers included uh, Bill and Goldenberg, for the theme music and with Robert Prince as well. 22 episodes with the pilot, uh, 51 minutes, William Castle Productions, and of course, Screen Gems. Now it debuted on March 17th, 72. Uh, big list of stars in this one, Helen Hayes, Jason Robards, Patricia Neal, William Wyndham, Gina Rollins, Carolyn Jones, Melvin Douglas, Stella Stevens, Tyne Daly, David Soul, uh, uh, Karen Black, and Jodie Foster. Several episodes were also written by Jimmy Sankster, a British screenwriter, producer, and director of Hammer Films. The episode House of Evil was an original teleplay by Robert Block, written as The Doll's House. Of course, Robert Block of Psycho fame. Now, DC Fontana of Star Trek fame scripted the episode Earth, Air, Fire, and Water, based on a story by herself and Harlan Ellison. <coughs> Told writers had worked on Star Trek, the former extensively. Now, beginning with Time of Terror, the series' 13th episode, which aired on January 5th, 73, the series was renamed Circle of Fear. The change was necessary, according to the executive producer, William Castle, because of low ratings. He attributed the title change to the head of production company, Screen Gems. Additionally, Capital was dropped as a presenter. The opening title graphics and theme music were also changed, and the reworked version uh, lasted for nine further episodes. Now, the pilot uh, featured a new house with David Burney and Barbara Perkins. Uh, season one episodes included, again, Jason Robart, Stella Steven, Gina Rollards, uh, Stuart Whitman, James Franciscus, Karen Black, Carolyn Jones, uh, Helen Hayes, Pamela Franklin, Jolie Foster, Melvin Douglas, Doug McClure, Lori Peters, Hal Linden, Lynn Loring, Geraldine Page, Rip Torn, Angie Dickinson, Patricia Neal, Craig Stevens, Janet Lee, Rory Calhoun, Martin Sheen, Kim Darby, Tyne Daly, Leif Garrett, Susan Day, Don Lynn, Shirley Knight, John Asson, Patty Duke, husband and wife, of course, Don Knight, Susan Oliver, Tab Hunter, uh, Darwin Johnson, of course, the final episode, The Phantom of Herald Square, Sheila Larkin, David Soule, and Victor Jory. Now, the episodes of the series were included as bonuses in the 2009 DVD box set, the William uh, Castle collect uh, film collection. Very interesting series, by the way. On May 1st, 2012, Sony released Ghost Story, a.k.a. Circle of Fear, on DVD to its manufacturer on demand MOD program, which includes 22 episodes plus the pilot. Now, on July 22nd, 2020, the complete series was released by Via Vision Entertainment on DVD and Blu-ray in Australia. As a bonus, it included audio tracks from the original 72-story LP, William Castle Ghost Story, Thrilling, Chilling Sounds of Fright, and The Supernatural, originally released by Peter Pan Records. Now, we all know William Castle was a shock master for his movies, but I think having him on TV was just a little bit too late. If this would have came out around the time of Rosemary's Baby, for obvious reasons, it would have done a lot better. But Twilight Zone was already passed, Night Gallery, uh, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, just in the early 1970s, it felt like filler, even though he had a great bastion of actors. Either the, 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 the let night gallery die and he didn't promote this enough. So it was a bummer. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of Ghost Story. If you like what we're doing here with the John Walco uh, requests, let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.